Hi everyone, I'd like to read to you Farm Flu by Teresa Bateman. My mom's a farmer and so am I. We work the farm through wet and dry. But it was likely just as well that mom was out of town a spell. When marching through the morning dew, I heard the milk cow moo, ka-choo! Poor thing, I said, you've got the flu. I'd never helped a sickly cow. I just know how to milk and plow, but I knew what my mom would do if it were me who had the flu. I tucked the Guernsey into bed with tissues for her stuffy head. I brought her hot alfalfa tea and fluffed her pillows hourly. <clears throat> the next day I was up at dawn, the Guernsey cow kept snoring on. I heard a cock a doodle doo, and then the chickens clucked ka choo. I knew just what my mom would do if it were me who had the flu. The TV room became a coop. I brought them bowls of barley soup. The barnyard called with chores to do, but then the piglets squealed, ka -choo! I knew just what my mom would do if it were me who had the flu. I popped the piglets in the tub and gave them all a belly rub. Then just when I was almost through, the turkeys gobbled out, ka -choo! I knew just what my mom would do if it were me who had the flu. They changed the channel, asked for snacks, said popcorn helped them to relax. They got out chess and checkers too, and then the donkey brayed, ka -choo! I knew just what my mom would do if it were me who had the flu. Reclining on the back porch swing, he asked for some of everything. And then a wild and woolly crew arrived and loudly bayed, ka -choo! I knew just what my mom would do if it were me who had the flu. The attic had a little room. I cleaned it up with mop and broom and settled all my woolly guests while urging them to get some rest. That night, I didn't get much sleep. My room was underneath the sheep. The house was filled with cluck, oink, moo. How odd they all should catch the flu. The next day, I arose and yawned. The house was still as morning dawned. I stopped, I listened, no ka -choo. I knew just what my mom would do. Too sick to be outside, I see. Then you're too sick to watch TV. No toys, no games, just stay in bed. No popcorn, you'll have mush instead. A miracle, they all were cured. They hurried out without a word and galloped to the barn with glee, recuperating magically. I followed, but my steps were slow. I felt like half-baked sourdough. Relieved the end was now in view. I stumbled, blinked, and sneezed. ka -choo! They quickly treated me for flu, exactly as my mom would do. And that's the end of the story. Thank you for listening.